I'm sure this is a weird way to start off a video, but this is your camshaft positioning sensor. It's on the passenger side. Uh, it's underneath the the valve insulative covers. Uh, you know, we've got our valve covers over here, but uh, so it's right here. Before you go off replacing it, there's something you should see. I've got a a wiring harness issue, and you know, depending on how it's moved around right in this area right here, uh, it will increase the resistance to the ground. So right here we got two positives, two positives here and a negative. And we should have zero resistance and we've got 9.5 on 2200K. Now if I play with this wire right here along that fuel rail, it will move up and down. But instead of trying to play with it and zip tie it down, I, I'm just gonna replace it. So one nice thing about these um, wiring harness, let's see if you can make that out. They are very color coded. I mean, you can cut one wire over here and over there and match them up and you're done and that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna put them underneath some scotch locks these are scotch locks that's scotch locks pliers so <clears throat> I'm gonna give myself some room of course that way if I had, have to make any adjustments I'm gonna cut this back um, giving myself some extra room this one here is a yellow brown. I've got a yellow brown over there. And I'm just gonna attach a piece of wire. I've got actually more than one wire inside. I'm gonna strip this back, use a piece of wire, and get rid of this uh, variance of resistance because we were having intermittent starting, stalling, all sorts of things, and uh, it's time to do away with this problem but if you need to replace it it's sim pretty simple you know you don't have to use that star bit you can use I believe it's eight millimeter and that'll take it right off you do have to get to it uh, in order to take this about I'm kind of working this video in reverse but in order to get to this you know you have to take the whole top area off and you have to take this oil fill off and that's simply a matter of one bolt on the side and twisting this whole thing off there's some some tabs that stick out and they'll meet up with the off position and you can pull this whole thing off when this is off then you can get the the top plastic part off but of course you have to remove the whole top all right so to get started just reach underneath and push the little tab lift your uh, positive for the jump start out of the way you're gonna lift up on this air intake and pull it out to the right set that out of the way I've already taken the needle those pliers and pulled pushed on these two slots so you can just pull that off and there's only one slot on the back side here and I've taken the flathead screwdriver and loosen this so you just pull this over to the right and get it out of the way lift up on your breather and then bring it straight to you all right, so now we have exposure to the problem. Let me zoom on this so you can. Okay, so right underneath this valve cover is our camshaft positioning sensor. And over there is the wire bundles. And I showed you where it's got a, I don't know, perhaps broken wire. Um, and when it vibrates, it, it cuts out on the uh creates a little bit of resistance so instead of trying to just bypass this whole thing that yellow brown wire that's there it also takes care of the math sensor and perhaps some other things but you can see the math sensor right here so don't go off just bypassing that wire it's, like i said it's, it's used here so what you want to do is create a three-way splice and maintain that original wire but you're going to 
take the third line and ground it. And you could ground it to your firewall or motor mount. You could ground it to, to your, uh, this is your glow plug block. Um, and if this isn't grounded, your glow plugs won't work. So you could add it to this bolt right here. You know, if you take it off and put it back on, you're gonna have ground. So keep that in mind. You're gonna add an extra ground. To me, this is the most effective because if you if you go from here back to the wiring harness, then you no longer have math uh, negative. So don't do that. Bypass it. If you can think of another way to fix it, let me know. I'm all ears. Uh, but you're getting into into the wiring harness pretty deep there.